Hey guys, hope you're well. Shelby here. Welcome back to my channel. We are going back into the world of cockroaches today. So exciting. We'll be focusing on the cave cockroach. I've been trying to film this intro for so long, I'm just gonna let him hang out in my hair. If you didn't already see the video on the Madagascan hissing cockroach, check it up out here. But as I said, today's all about the cave cockroach. What incredible animals they are, and also good at hiding in hair, <laughs> especially when you have a lot of curly, curly hair like I do. So what makes cave cock... I'm ticklish and he's tickling my neck. Hold on a sec. <laughs> there he is. All right. We're gonna go over five things that you need to know about the cave cockroach, including a connection to bats, which I don't think you'll see coming. It's quite cool, so stay tuned to the end. Now, let's get to it. Blabberous giganteus. A very interesting scientific name, but it comes in handy because these guys have a variety of common names. Whatever you want to call them, they are a giant cockroach, that is for sure. In fact, they're one of the largest cockroach species. They get up to four inches in length, and they have a lifespan ranging from 20 months to two years. And very importantly, they are gliders and not flyers. As we saw in the beginning, they don't navigate particularly well, but their wings are certainly pretty. The giant cave cockroach is native to the rainforest of Central America and Northern South America. They prefer areas that have a high moisture rate and little light, making caves the perfect place to live as they are also nocturnal. In fact, one study looked at their sleeping patterns and found even though they're insects, they do have sleep-like states. You've heard the phrase survival of the fittest, but have you heard of survival of the stinkiest? Ugh. Not only do they mimic the color pattern of poisonous beetles, but they can produce a foul smell to avoid being eaten by predators. Stinky, but clever. People often ask me, what are cockroaches good for? Well, they are great at breaking down rotting debris and making it into healthy soil. They are known as detritivores or decomposers. That means they eat plant and animal matter. To take care of my colony, I feed them a variety of fruits and vegetables. They seem to prefer bananas. Cockroaches also serve as a food source for ecosystems. In particular, the giant cave cockroach nymphs spend most of their time buried beneath the soil. This helps to protect them from predators, like army ants, in case they attack the cockroach colony. So what is their connection to bats? Well, giant cave cockroaches, as the name suggests, live primarily in caves. And what also lives in caves? Well, bats. And occasionally Batman. But primarily bats. And bats leave behind guano. Which is just a fancy way of saying their poop. In fact, bat guano makes great fertilizer. Who knew? Thank you so much for watching and joining us today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you haven't already, give this guy a thumbs up and subscribe while you're at it. We'll see you next time. Bye.